the 1840s, we would see the United States expand their territory west. But in terms of the new American Southwest, there was a problem. Much of the territory was desert. And it would have been very difficult for horses and donkeys to transport goods through all the harsh terrain. So the U.S. Army had a solution, and that was to import camels from overseas. Much of these camels were imported from parts of North Africa as well as Turkey. But they also needed an expert camel driver. So they brought in this guy named Hajj Ali who was of Greek Syrian descent. But since Americans couldn't pronounce Hajj Ali, they referred to him as Hai Jali. And he was an expert camel driver. And he led many expeditions to haul goods and supplies to different parts of the American Southwest. His work paved the way for future innovations in transportation and logistics that connected the country. But the Camel Corps would be disbanded once the U.S. Civil War began. There was no longer a need for the camels and many of them would be sold off or let go into the wilderness. Since he could no longer work as a camel driver, Hai Jolly worked as a miner and horse packer in Arizona until his death in 1902. He's seen as a legend and folk hero and you can still visit his gravesite in Arizona.